So, so far, uh, all the loops that we have specified were infinite. So the idea in this video is to see how we can specify a loop with a test for the stop conditions. So we'll reuse one of our previous examples, so example 8. And uh, we will adapt the classifier behavior. So the idea here for this loop is that we will reuse the result of the operation called to test, so which is a, a boolean, true or false, to determine whether we will continue the loop uh, or not. So to do so, uh, we need to put a fork node because we will use the result in two places. So for setting uh, a Y as we did before, and also as an input of a new node that we are going to add, which is a decision node. So the decision node uh, will determine if we go on, the, uh, go on with the execution or not. So the object flows are added uh, between uh, the fork node and the, the appropriate output and inputs, and also uh, towards uh, the decision node. So let's skip a bit the layout part. So we also need an activity final node, which is be which will be one of the options for the decision node. And what we are going to do is to put simply a guard on the decision node. So as we said, uh, we are uh, getting some booleans, uh, which are the results of the call to the test of uh, operation. And so for the guard, we just uh, need to put uh, the value that we actually want to match. So if we get true, we go to the final node, and like what we do now, if we get false, we uh, continue with the loop. So let's perform some experiment and see what happens. So let's start the execution. We see that we enter the loop, perform a few steps, and when we update the value to 1, uh, which is uh, not greater than 2, we will go to the false branch of the decision node. Let's make another update, 0, still not greater than 2, so we will make another round. So again, the principle is that the, the, the value, the result provided by call test is compared to the value associated with the guard. This is why we go to the false branch. And in this case, we have used uh, x egal equals 3, which is greater than 2. So we go uh, on the uh, true uh, decision uh, branch. And of course, if we make other uh, stimulation, nothing happens. So let's perform another experiment to observe also uh, an interesting side effect. So we relaunch the simulation, init the system, perform a few steps, and update the value of 5. So a value is detected, so the system reacts. But now, if we update again the value, what we see here that the value that is considered for the test is not 5, which has the first change, but 1. But we, what we have also seen is that uh, a change event was generated anyway, so we have moved forward the execution at uh, after 05. Okay, so the second change has been consumed by the change on X accept event action. So this is uh, something that you have to consider in your design, which is that um, change events are not uh, lost. And with a value of 5, the execution terminates. 